Rush Limbaugh has been called out on the Senate floor for supporting a terrorist organization. On Friday, Rush went after President Obama for sending military advisors to help combat an African terrorist group that routinely rapes, tortures, and murders civilians. But Limbaugh defended the group because they call themselves Christian. This week, Republican Senator Jim Imhoff of Oklahoma, and you don't get any more conservative than this guy, shot down Limbaugh's attack on the president. Almost everyone who's reporting on this, including my good friend uh, Rush Limbaugh, is talking about we're going, these, our guys are going to go and gals are going to go into combat. No. Some people have mistakenly said that this guy's a Christian, and uh, I want to make sure everyone knows that he officially was disavowed by the Catholic Church. I stand behind the president in his decision. I don't very often stand behind this president, but I do in this case. Would that be a polite scolding? Even Senator Inhofe, the climate change denier who endorsed Rick Perry, supports President Obama on this issue. But Rush doesn't think it's a big deal. He only mentioned Inhofe's statement to plug his radio sidekicks. Dawn, Brian, and Snurdly all made their debuts on the House, I'm sorry, the Senate floor yesterday. All because I happen to be misinformed about something. You're in the congressional record because you didn't know something. How does it feel? <laughs> anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, make a joke of it and blame it on the workers. Rush Limbaugh has become so disconnected from reality, he thinks it's funny to endorse a brutal terrorist group. This might be a new low for the figurehead of the Republican Party. Still ahead, Liz Cheney joins the attack on the middle class in Ohio.